Hi, it's Mary Beth Gard. We're down here at Capers Emporium in New Harmony, Indiana. And I have with me my friend Rhonda Hunter of Rhonda Hunter Style Photography, who is setting up a um, photography studio here in New Harmony. We're so excited. But while she was in town today, I thought it might be fun to explore some kitchen gadgets. Now, we have a lot of merchandise here at Capers. We have everything from pajamas and tech toys and MOBA globes to our bakery, our glass studio, but we also have a lot of kitchen related items and there's both food and there are kitchen gadgets. And we have people who will come in here and they'll look at things and they'll, I'll see them talking to each other. What's this? And so I know that uh, some of you don't know what all of these things are or what they do. So we're going to test Rhonda and see how many of these she's familiar with, how intuitive they are. Is it something where you're just gonna know instinctively what they are? And then I'll tell you a little bit about them and why we wanted to carry them as at Capers and why we use them in our own kitchens. So you obviously are attracted to that. Like, I don't know what this is. <laughs> well, uh, any theories? It twists. <laughs> I don't know. I have no idea. What well, idea? I, I one of those little finger things. A Chinese puzzle. Yeah, I don't know. No, and you got to be a little careful with it because this is the dizzy dog, and it's designed for you to put a hot dog inside. <laughs> and once you do, you're going to turn this around, and it has a sharp blade on the inside that cuts spirals through the hot dog. Now you may wonder, <laughs> why would we want spirals on a hot dog? Because when you put the hot dog that's been cut like that into an air fryer or into the oven or on the grill, the grooves are going to come open and they're going to leave natural spots for your condiments to go. So it's just a brilliant device and it makes your hot dog look a lot more appetizing, a lot more fun. So that's the Dizzy Dog. Yeah, that's gonna be a fun gadget. <laughs> yes, it will. What about these? So like when you're on a diet and you accidentally go and get yourself a big, huge malt and you, you can't get it? Because <laughs> it's got that yellow thing running through it and that's not going to allow it to do anything. It's a child safety lock on fattening food. What? Well, <laughs> uh, we ought to invent that, shouldn't we? We should. <laughs> but it's actually the grip stick. And the way the grip stick works is you take the groove that's there and you position it over your folded bag wow. and then it seals it so that it's airtight it and won't kid come proof. off and kid proof unless they just well, unless accidentally over five. move it uh the right direction but yeah. what's nice is you start out with a big bag like this and you can keep cutting it down so you have less tail and less tail Is and you don't that? end up with with sad looking packages like this in your cabinet no one wants a sad bag in their cabinet i don't i don't <laughs> so grip sticks in all different um sizes do you know what this is an hourglass uh, i don't know there's a blade in there that's kind of scary i don't well, I, I thought you were going to hold it up to your <laughs> ear for a minute there. This is the Spirelli, and it allows you to spiralize anything from daikon radish, uh, beets, carrots, zucchini, yellow squash. It has two different sets of blades, so they make different size noodles. So when you, so make, you can make zoodles, oh, yes, yeah. zucchini noodles and so forth, and um, just saute those with a little butter, garlic, olive oil for just a few minutes when it gets down too small for you to want to hold on to because you want to keep all your fingers. You just put the vegetable into this and then you can keep on turning that. Oh, but uh, it makes wonderful zoodles and you can buy them at the supermarket. But if you do, 
Yes, that flew off and that was that was planned. If you get them at the supermarket, they zootalize the seeds in the middle and that has a wang to it. It is not a pleasant well, thing. So if you make these. it yourself, it's much better. I bought a big one like this and it takes up so much room in my yes, kitchen. Yes, who so has room for that? That's really awesome. Yes, just throw it right into your cabinet. How about this little jobber? I don't know, it's like a little mask. <laughs> it is a jar opener. And so it's designed for <laughs> you really to be able was. to turn so that it conforms to whatever size lid you have. And some lids are just mean, but this allows you to leverage this great design to easily open up your lid. You just need to remember righty tighty, lefty loosey. And if you know anybody who has arthritis or just who hasn't been eating their Wheaties or lifting their weights and has trouble with the jar lids. This is a wonderful thing. So then I don't have to use my husband anymore and it will make him happy. Or obsolete, one of the two. I thought this was a hamburger patty thing. I can't even get it off. What is it? <laughs> it is a hermetically sealed something or other. No, it doesn't screw off. It pulls, oh, off. It pulls off. And this is to head off one of the most common kitchen injuries. Do you know what one of the most common injuries are that lead people to go to the emergency room when they've been working in the kitchen? A cut on the finger? Yes, that comes from? The knife. <laughs> <laughs> yes. What else I can it come from? To... My stove? <laughs> no, it comes from slicing bagels because those suckers oh, yeah. are hard as heck. And so people have them standing upward and they'll they'll just uh, turn ever so slightly and the next thing you know, the knife is cutting into your hand. So this is designed for you to put a bagel on, stick this on top of it, and then you keep your uh, hands safe. One on top of here, one on the knife. Yeah. This is keeping the bagel from moving and injury free. It's the rapid slicer. I love all these too because you can put it on a little basket and have everything on your counter instead of all over the place. Exactly. These really don't take up much room when you understand how useful they can be and how how much effort they can save you. So should so, I scratch your back? Oh. <laughs> yeah, you scared me for a minute there. Night. Those look a little mean, don't they? Yeah, stay away from me. I'm not scratching your back unless I use these. Well, you <laughs> could use them as a back scratcher, but what they're actually designed for is to do pulled pork. So you put your pork shoulder well, on the grill or in the oven and you cook it for hours and hours and you put your glaze or your sauce in with that and then you take these and they ever so easily pull that pork apart so that you have those beautiful shredded pieces that are ready to go on your you don't sandwich. Get your hands dirty that way. You don't get your hands dirty, you and, with that and too, it makes it uh, so much easier to get the job done. You don't have to put a lot of muscle behind that. So what is this, the clam? Isn't it pretty? So you can put your jewelry in there and have it ready for you. You can put your sponge in there. But no, of course, that's not what it's oh, I designed for. No, those are just alternate uses. It's nice when something can do double duty, I think. You push this little button on this side and it seals it up. And that makes it easy to store in a drawer or a uh, cabinet. Wait, what goes in there? Well, I'm getting to that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I can't reveal the secret too it quickly. Works. It's a salad tong device. So that if you uh, are tossing a salad with a lot of dressing, you know what it's like with the old way of doing it where you'd have one thing in one hand and one in the other and you're tossing and some is coming off and it's going on the table or the counter. Not with this. This allows you to get down to the very bottom and not only can you toss your salad, but you can easily serve it. 
And you can like do that all in the summer when you're all slim, do a belly dance with it. Oh yes, yeah. like cucaracha. I see me doing that. That sounds wonderful. And the shoe, what it, what it, this, you put this in your shoe. That's <laughs> <laughs> Another <laughs> alternate use. See how they do double duty? You clean the stove. But this is one of my uh, favorite devices. This is the stock chop, and it's designed for cauliflower. And you know how when you get a whole head of cauliflower, you've got all those leaves that are coming up like this, and they can't easily be pulled off. Yeah, I, because I did cut my finger that way, see? Yes, they're Just attached to week. a very <laughs> sturdy stem. Yeah. But with this, you turn your head of cauliflower upside down, you wash it first, and then you take out your frustrations, aggravations, or or whatever, and you just go like this, and in in just a matter you of seconds, you will take out the trash. <laughs> it it loosens that core, so you can lift it out. And then, if you want to do something with cauliflower that involves florets. Instead of getting your knife out and cutting it into little bitty pieces or trying to do it manually, you can put that cauliflower down and you've got florets in no time. This is a blade and this is extremely hard metal. The, the handle is comfortable and it does a great job. I can get cauliflower ready to fix in nothing. And that's a big time. thing in my house, cauliflower. It's that's a big thing in my... That's how I've been losing my... my weight and it takes forever. So then I'm like, oh God, it rotted in the refrigerator again because I was too lazy to cut it up. It's yes, it, you dread so, it. I really want to so try that. It you looks do, like it would be awesome. Uh, you would benefit from that very so much. This so this looks like a little punch thing with you. You can have... Stick out your pinky, go like that. Well, here's what it actually is. This is an herb stripper. And you a stripper? Yes. Uh, stripper. It has a number of different sizes here. And so it gives you directions with it. You put your herb in, whether it is rosemary, thyme, oregano, whatever it might be. You put it in the corresponding size hole based upon the size of the stock. It has measurements inside here, so it will let you measure anything from a small amount all the way up to one fourth cup as you're stripping them. And it tells you which herbs are going to do best when they're stripped this way versus that way. Because kale, for example, likes to have the dog pulled out going with the grain instead of against the grain. So if you're dealing with some big stuff, this is also an alternative. It's the same kind of thing. You've got the different size holes here to strip those off, but this doesn't have the measurement with it like the other one does so you don't have the ability oh, to know sharp. how much you've gotten but yes it what was is. that lady's name no <laughs> oh uh, did you know lorena we love kitchen gadgets we do gadgets. so it can snip off uh your flowers snip anything your off, herbs, so be careful so of your fingertips one-handed and it locks so that when you go out in the garden you aren't going to accidentally grab something sharp or something else so is this like a shaver? <laughs> Not in this <laughs> lifetime. This is a peeler. And you may think, yeah, I've seen peelers, so what? Yeah. But this is the Gefu Universal Peeler. And what makes it so special is the blade is extremely sharp. It's German engineered, but it's also designed in such a way that it is as comfortable for someone who's left-handed as it is for somebody exactly. right-handed and that's that's difficult yeah because when i'm peeling i sometimes you when you get your finger you're gonna yeah you have is. to be really very careful with that different. and do you know what this little raised thing can be used for that's that's right here it's like a little it's notch a i hadn't thought about yeah. that well, sometimes you have uh, potatoes, sweet potatoes, cauliflower oh. that have little blemishes on them. 
and this allows you to easily get those black spots out of there and preserve the rest of your vegetable. Now these remind me of silicone. <laughs> oh <laughs> yes. <laughs> I don't know what these are. Like they're interesting. They feel amazing. Don't they though? <laughs> this is uh, a set of cover blubber, and cover blubber. I have blubber. If only we could transplant. I'm right. You know. It could be rich. I could give them my blubber. But this is a reusable method of storing your fruits and vegetables once you have cut into them. So let's say you do something where you need half of a grapefruit or orange avocado? or a pepper. Would it, do an it would do an avocado and, and it, it would make brown? it airtight uh, so that it's not going to turn brown. But you just tuck these over the fruit or vegetable, and you choose the one that is the correct size, and then when you're done, you can, can you throw these in into the dishwasher. Oh, awesome. Yes, so they can get clean again, and it's a nice alternative to using plastic wrap. What is this? This looks like something fun with a kid. I can squirt you. Yes, you can, and uh, it will be fun. Put some lemon juice in there. With kids or really adults. This is where a decorating tip goes, a piping tip. So this is for decorating cupcakes, cakes, or we used it when we were filling deviled eggs. We put our deviled egg mixture into here and then we put a piping tip, screwed it on with this. So you can fill it two different ways. You can fill it from the top or you can fill it with up from the bottom and the magic trick that it does that I had to see to believe. You know those cans of ice cream, you, or icing, that you can buy, like Pillsbury and Betty oh, yeah. Crocker? You open one up, you put that here, you take the bottom off, and you push this down into that icing. It fills this with the icing, and then you just lift it off, you put the lid on, and you are ready to go. I did not understand how that would work, and I still don't really understand how it works, but I've seen it in action, and it's just brilliant. So that's what that I is for. I want to have pretty, I always at Thanksgiving, I make the ugliest eggs, but everybody loves them. So yes. I always want that to be so pretty, but they're just gross. Well, you know, even that. piping some hummus onto celery or onto a little baguette, it just elevates the experience for people when you take those extra few seconds to make it special. This one, what is this? Like, it feels like a nice little brush. Is that what it is? Well, it could and go I in like a this spa. Side. So it could be, it could be perhaps could used that. for that, but. <laughs> It's actually a mushroom and vegetable brush. So this side is used with your delicate mushrooms because it used to be that people would say, don't wash mushrooms, they'll get waterlogged and that's not good, just, just don't wash them. They are dirty. Go into the supermarket and the next time you buy some mushrooms, wipe them with a paper towel and you're gonna get soil off of there. So you use the mushroom brush and uh, Cook's Country did an experiment where they tested mushrooms that had been washed against mushrooms that hadn't and they took the weight of each one of them and there was no appreciable weight gain on the washed mushrooms. So be healthy and do that. So you use this to gently get the dirt off and then you use this on other vegetables, whether you're scrubbing carrots or potatoes or what have you. Does this go with it? It does. It goes so with that. I was that. playing with it like a stress ball, but I kept popping my lid like you did over there. <laughs> so I don't, this. This is the Butter Easy, and you put a uh, half stick of butter in here, and then you fold this back, and you're holding it like this, so when you have to grease a pan oh, yeah. with butter, it makes it very easy for you to do. And then this allows you to seal it and put it into the refrigerator so that it stays 
Nice. Now, why didn't we think of that? Why didn't we invent that? Why didn't we think of anything? <laughs> I I, 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 any of I've been wondering <laughs> that for years, but the butter easy is a great thing to have around whether you're eating sweet corn or buttering toast. You know, you don't have to slice Are these, off uh, to measure pieces. It? Those measure it. Yep. Yes. So if you need an exact amount, it'll do that for you too. A chisel. Yeah, kind of a chisel, for the actually. Stove? Uh, not just a stove, but let's say you have a sticker on something that you bought and you want to get it off. Don't ruin your manicure. Not that any of us have manicures in the age of COVID, but uh, you can use this to save your nails and to allow you to get into little bitty spaces and get things off. This is very, very strong. So it is truly up to the task and it comes in all different colors and I recommend that you have them in all different places. I mean, it's kind of scary in there. <laughs> it's got <laughs> blades and I know that always worries fun. you. But this is the veggie wedgie. Blades. When you want to keep vegetables around that are easy to grab and eat, but you dread all the prep work that comes with that, this veggie wedgie can really help. You can stick a carrot, a zucchini, a stalk of celery, or even multiple cherub tomatoes in here. It's got six different compartments that are created with the blades. So you just push your food through with this and they come out the other end. So you get these perfect celery sticks and carrot sticks and so on and so forth. And it's just really quick. So when you dread prep time, like yeah, I do, I anything that time. you can do to reduce it Especially is a vegetables, good thing. But they're good for you. And you want to make your meals look pretty, even if it's just for yourself. I don't know. It looks like a lost sink drain. <laughs> well, it kind of does. It's actually a can colander. And uh, I know that when I was growing up, the way that I would drain liquid from cans, if I was using a recipe that called for whatever it was to be drained first, was to use my can opener that would cut the jagged edges and I'd leave a little bit of the lid on and then I'd press that down into the can, hold it and I would drain out the liquid. Well, two things. One is that's dangerous and people get cut doing that. And two, a lot of us aren't using the old metal can openers that create the jagged cuts. I didn't cuts. Even know what that was for. We're doing the ones that, uh, that take off the entire lid in such a way that uh, you can put the lid back on if you want. So we, we don't have the ability to press it in and if you're just holding something random up there and you don't want to dirty a whole colander so the can colander it fits most size cans that's the twisted spoon <laughs> the twisted spoon it's the mini spoon and it is designed to go into your jar and it allows you to oh, scrape like on the little... inside because it's got oh. the silicone here with the stiff plastic um stem and then when you're done you can set it like this and the bed of the spoon does not touch your counter it is supported by the stem so that it doesn't make a mess unless it's something drippy and then you're on your own but i can't save you from that I know that you've been curious. Yeah, I don't know what this four-legged creature is. Like, what is this? <laughs> well, let's turn it up the other direction for beginners. Oh. It's a this, vase holder. <laughs> almost, almost. It's the Bagwell baggie holder. If you're somebody who, who uh, cooks a lot, let's say you're making chili soup, stew, or you've browned a lot of hamburger meat and want to put it into a bag. This allows you to put a gallon bag over the top and uh, open it up like that. You may be thinking, well, why would I want to do that? Because you have this large opening that you can hit. <laughs> so you can get all your food inside there. You're not gonna have a mess. 
and you can do it all by yourself because all the time my husband it's the husband eliminator <laughs> that, didn't we have another one of those yeah. too and it folds down so it's compact it's not going to take up much room in your cupboard or in your drawer to take the skin off of your heel oh we could try that you can do that with that i think you could that would be I know interesting that's how it is for. well it is the tie peeler and with the uh, tie peeler, you know, we've got the Gefu peeler and it does a wonderful job with everything that it touches. But my friend Sue, who is a Thai chef, taught me to use this for certain things. And what it does is two things. One is, let's say that I was making a dish that called for some shredded carrots to be in it. I could use this to shred the oh carrots gosh, and make it as, uh, as long or as short a shreds as we wanted. But the other thing is when you just peel the carrot, the cucumber, your zucchini, whatever with this, and then you slice it, the slices look like little flower petals because they have the ridges all around them. The first time I ever ate her Thai cucumber salad, she had the cucumbers that had been peeled with this and then cut into slices. And I looked at each one and it looked like a little flower. I thought, how long did she yeah, spin? Yeah, that was so ugly a minute ago. Because she was doing it with this Thai kiwi peeler. And I eat a lot of carrots, like, and I hate cutting them up. So I buy them cut up and it costs more money than to do, I mean, I don't yes. know how much that is, but I'm sure you're gonna save a lot more money. And these are way cheaper than the cut up ones or the baby carrots, because I don't want to cut them up, but that looks really And pretty. these last a lot longer too. Yeah. If you get big bags of the full size unpeeled carrots, then you've always got a go-to supply so all in this there. stuff would be great for somebody that's like what I'm doing, losing my weight and prepping and meal prepping. Yes. It's amazing. Everything or is anybody amazing so who who just likes to cook and people who like to play with gadgets. Yeah. Um, we love kitchen gadgets. We do. <laughs> um, I don't know. I thought that came off and it was a nail file. <laughs> I don't know for when you cut yourself. What is it? Well, the first time I saw it, I thought Popsicle. it was a paint stick because the way this drips down is kind of reminiscent of paint, but it's a stir stick. And you can attest to the fact that this is really a stout thing. Yeah. And it's designed for you to be able to get the natural peanut butter, cashew butter, almond butter that often will have the separation of the oil on the top and you can stick this in, get to the very bottom, and easily assimilate the oil with the, the butter. And it also allows you to get every last uh, little bit yeah. out of the bottom. So you have done very well. We've got the uh, little green man. I don't think we talked about him. <laughs> but it's funny looking. Well, it is funny looking. I love it when somebody with a sense of humor designs a kitchen gadget. That is hilarious. So, you know those little jars of jelly that you get that have the red and white gingham lid? Or, or any kind of lid like that. You can pry it off with this. This allows you to easily undo a two-liter bottle lid. And sometimes those are really stuck on there and then you've also got the ability to use this part to get off bottles that have the metal caps to them so i think you have earned a treat you could have a carrot or chocolate shoes we're <laughs> making them in the capers bakery and i'm so excited they look plastic, don't they? Yes, and everyone knows I love shoes. And it's chocolate? It is chocolate. Yes, it is. Oh my yeah. gosh, these are really good. They really are. Yes, 
And so oh they'll be fun for Valentine's Day special occasions, all kinds of things. And I just want to like one savor it. last thing. Do you know what this is? You could stick oh, it in a it. cupcake. You could, you could uh, wow. cook it in a cake. You could stick it in a piece of fruit or whatever. And that is a party right there. Oh, it won't stay. Only because I broke it off. So we have these in both red and gold. We have heart shaped. We have um, we have star shaped. Whoa! And it's a party that you add to your food. They just burn a few minutes. The sparks are itty bitty, so they aren't oh going gosh, to cause any problems. Uh, we even have them in the letters that spell out 2021 because I'm betting 2021 is going to sparkle. Yes, it is. It yes. is going to sparkle. It already has for me. So thanks for playing Guess That Gadget. You did great. I love those chocolate. Thank you. Thank you for having me. This is my first day in New Harmony and it's, it's been fun. I love wonderful. It. Wonderful. Thank you. Well, folks, come on down to Capers Emporium where we have all these and so much more because we're the happy place to shop. It is fun here. They have lots of gadgets you will love.